before I lose a freaking lip, so. But just think about what I said, okay? Yeah. I'll see you now back. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon Delight. So let's pick up on this. So in the last video, I went over how Novak, Lila Novak, had rescued this uh, kid and got her to calm down because she was uh, in some distraught with the straw, the straw that got dangerously stuck up her head, uh, went through her uh, top of her mouth, and then I think it went deeper than that. And uh, you know, Violet recognized and said that she we need to get her into uh, trauma real quick. Um, before anything gets worse, so it gets even deeper in there where it can stop messing with some shit in her brain and kill her. So, um, yeah, so they uh, they were messing with that, but uh, the whole basis of this episode for, for Violet is to figure out N Novak a lot more. Like, she's now determining how good she is with people, and that's something that she's not good at, but uh, she's noticing those qualities in her and you know, she's, she's trying to make an effort to see if she wants to hang out with her obviously Violet, you know, she's trying to make a strong adjustment because Brett was her best friend So she knows that she's not going to get anybody quite like Brett ever again Or anytime soon. I shouldn't say ever again, but at least anytime soon So she's trying to make a connection with this girl Novak outside of work Because uh, she knows she's a lot different there. She's a little bit more faster i think you can call it um and you know so but she did invite violet to go watch her uh do this thing with her martial um uh, she studies martial arts so this girl could fight by the way as well so this girl can handle her own she needs to go beat somebody down uh so she gets i don't know how long she's been taking self-defense classes but so she was telling like her martial arts team that they've been doing this thing with numb chunks and she was presenting on this stage at this club or this bar or whatever and she was uh it was a nice move that she was doing it was like some fire and it was a nice trick when they were showing it um uh, you know and, and it was pretty great uh but uh you know they were talking about some things and how you know their connection is right now and and how violet is uh you know very very interested and you know want to really establish a connection with her going forward and I think that Violet sees the quality in her right now, but it, it was such a crazy, uh, it was such a crazy experience, man. But Novak is just, she's kind of wild though, man. She, she be, she be kind of out there, man. Like for real, for real. And so Violet is a little bit more laid back and that energy is definitely, you can tell that energy is like. Between those two is like definitely something that Violet has to adjust to. So that's why it's so funny to watch. Because you can tell that that energy, when you're watching it, it needs to be examined, right? But, you know, Violet was telling, you know, um, some things there that was interesting. So um, the only thing was when I came out of this conversation that... I was still trying to figure out because I was a little bit confused by it. Is that I don't know, like Novak still I don't know, there's something still not clicking for me with Novak as far as she still has this like mysterious presence about her, right? Um Maybe you were looking into it too much. Cause I was I was trying to tell some other people like, you know, what do you think about Novak? And some people think there's still something mysterious going on with Novak though. Uh, something's like not all there with her like it is something up you know what I mean um, I don't think it's anything dangerous like you know Emma Jacobs or nothing or anything like a Chief Robinson connection with Lennox I don't think it's anything like that but it is something with her like Violet hasn't gotten the whole story yet on her but uh, it's something definitely going on but hopefully we'll find out by the season finale I don't know if we're going to find out that fast maybe it bleeds into next season but um you know, I definitely want to find out more. But I do like her already, though. I like her already. Um, I think she's the perfect replacement for Brett, by the way. And she's just so much more different from Brett. You know, definitely a different vibe with her and everything like that. A lot more interesting, I will say. Like, she's just not bland or boring. Um, very interesting, but a bit of a wild child, though. You know what I'm saying? A bit of a wild child. So, 
What I want y'all to do in the comment section is if there's anything that you think is going on with Novak that you wanted to say in the comment section, let me know because I'll probably talk about it next week. If I, uh, I'm going to try to read the comments or anything that y'all got. Because it, it is like a, a, it is a vibe going on with her that's it's still a little bit off. She's been an open book, but it's a little bit off, some of the vibes with her. But go ahead and let me know, man. We're going to get to the Stella stuff next, man. But go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. After news, like, please do that for me in the comment section, by the way.